Afternoon people, this is Sam, South Carolina Happy Bees. And we're gonna look at this here little nuke. And I'm gonna show y'all something. It seems to be on a lot of your minds. Uh, this is hive number 67. It has a yellow queen. I believe it has four frames, but we're going to do something with it here that a lot of y'all seem to be wondering about, and I'm going to show you. And that is my honey frames, when I put a honey frame in a deep box. Honey frame, super frame, is uh, goes in a smaller box, which is three inches shorter than a deep frame, three inches. So what we're gonna do here today is show you what we do with that. And we're, this is my honey frame, my super frame right here. This one has brood It has brood and eggs and stores and honey and a yellow queen. Hey, okay? but that's not what we're here to show you. We're here to show you. Uh, make sure you can see. Make sure the speaker works for the microphone or whatever it is. But we're going to show you what we got. What I do when we have one like this. This is a, one of my frames with fishing line in it, and it has rubber bands on the side. One side has three, one side has two, especially for this one. Okay? Okay. We understand that. Okay. And we have this one, which is a honey frame with build on the bottom. So people, some people say, well, what are you going to do, come up with wacky cone or, or uh, I don't think that would work in my hive and everything. You can use, you can use this, like the other one over there, when they build this, they'll go to cap it with honey, and then down here they build another thing. What I do is I take this frame with the rubber bands and set it right there. Take my super duper red knife. Set it right there. Then I'll take this frame and I'll set it right there. Now what we have here is a honey frame. Now will they build back on the deck? Sure they will. Because they're smart little good girls. So we put that back in there. Or else we could put a honey super on here. Put this up in the middle of the honey super. And it would draw the bees up. But now we have this. And that's, that's what we've got right there. We're going to take this. There's no eggs anything. But we have brood. So we're going to take this one and make sure it'll fit in there. Now this here wax that's left over, I'll put in my wax belter. We don't waste very little. Okay, and we're gonna take this, take these frames, or these rubber bands here. We're gonna put them over to the side. And we're gonna take this one. Now you've gotta turn it to where your frame is going the right way. This was the bottom, which is now the top. If we flip it over, it wouldn't work. We stick that right there. We take this rubber band. And we put it in here. Some people use this string, some people use this 
ribbon. I've used them all. Then I finally got the rubber bands. We put that there. On this side, we take it, we push the rubber bands over to the edge. We pull this here. That there. And I hope this explains something to some of you about what I do and how I do it and why I do it. And and if you want to, you can take it over where you got your your fishing line. You've got little grooves in there, not all the way through, just through that top layer of wax. Okay, now we got it to where there's a hole underneath it for that fishing line to get into. Now we're lucky because this one is right here and we have a fishing line just right under and it's going to go that way and that way la da that's fishing line holding frame together now what are we going to do with this ring this box only has four so we're going to take this one Put it over here. Take this one. And stick it right in the middle. Now, the bees will finish building this out. They will attach the top. They will attach the sides here. And they will attach where the, the rubber band is or the fishing line is it won't fall and they'll just build the frame on out here if they, they'll cut the rubber bands loose when they want to or else I can come back once they got it all hooked together and I can cut the rubber bands off but that's what I do and that's why I do what I do now Y'all have comments on it. I'd appreciate them. Y'all tell me what y'all do. Tell me what y'all think I should do. But usually I have a reason. That frame there, once it's filled with honey in a regular thickness and not real thick, regular thickness will have five to six pounds of honey in it if it's all capped. If it's not all capped, it's not honey. I know some people says you do. Anyway, that's that. Now, this little frame right here of honey, capped honey, both sides, when you extract it, or when I extract it, I get somewhere between three and four pounds of honey out of it. Now that weighs more than that because you've got the frame, you've got the wax, you've got other stuff in there. But that's why it makes it weigh about seven to eight pounds. But you're only going to get about three pounds of honey. And I'll stick it back in here. And when the time comes, I'll get a couple more of these frames. Well, I'll have to get at least a few. Put my extractor and extract the honey. And I can take this one, even now let the queen build up a little bit and keep an eyeball on it and I can keep cutting the frames off the bottom and melting it just catch it before the, she gets eggs in it and now there's five frames in there they're happy I don't have my hive tool again but they're happy we center it up 
we put their pollen patty back on here. And to them, life is the same as it was. A little different, but basically the same. They have a frame they can work on. They have a queen they can work with. And they had a, have a group of bees that they can work with. So, that is that. Y'all give me a comment, though. Let me know what you think. Let me know what part of a video that I make that you don't understand. That way I can, I can help y'all out and I can help me out. And it'll make me do better. And it'll help my bees out. Y'all have a great day. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a comment. Subscribe. If y'all let me know things, like I say, we'll show you videos and let you know a little bit more about what we're doing. Uh, give us a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share, let other people know about what we're doing. And y'all knows I'm not trying to say you anything. Nothing. I'm just trying to show you something. Y'all have a great day. Well, right now it's about a great night. Uh, but y'all enjoy yourselves tonight and don't do anything wrong. Be careful. Y'all have a great one. Bye.